Good evening everyone and welcome to yet another episode of Breakfast with Dave. In today's episode we're gonna make a goulash with peppers and potatoes. This is a traditional recipe which traces back to the 9th century when shepherds were known to eat it. The name goulash originates from the Hungarian saying Herokato. This dish reminds me of when I would holiday to Austria and Germany as a kid. It's so good and brings back fond memories for me. When it's cold outside and all you want to do is to snuggle under the blanket, what could be more warm in that hot bowl of soup? So if you want to know how to make this perfect dish that makes you curl up on a winter's day, come take a trip down memory lane with me and let's get cooking! The ingredients for today are chalk beef chunks, potatoes, bell peppers, onions, garlic, paprika, tomato paste, red wine, beef stock, vegetable stock, flour, thyme, cumin, bay leaves, sriracha, lemon and salt and pepper. First thing we need to do is to chop the vegetables and peppers and prepare the stocks. Now that everything is prepped and ready, we can get started by frying the beef. Today I'm using chuck stewing beef, which I highly recommend. It's one of the best primal cuts you can use for goulash. It has lots of fat tissue and is made up of many different muscles, so you get some pieces that are fattier, some pieces that are leaner, some pieces that are tender, which is perfect for this dish. First thing first, add a glug of olive oil to your large saucepan. Let it heat up over high heat for a minute and then add your beef. But first, you don't want to stir the meat too much. Let it sit and brown at the bottom of the pan, searing all sides of the beef. Once your beef is beautiful and brown, lower the heat to medium and add your onions and garlic. Mix it all together and let the vegetables cook in the juices for around 4-5 minutes, stirring occasionally. When the onions start to turn translucent, stir in the peppers and saute for 5 minutes. Sprinkle in the paprika, add the tomato puree and combine all the ingredients. You want the tomato paste to brown at the bottom of the pan, forming this dark red crust. This is exactly what you want. Now it's time to hydrate your dish with a splash of red wine. Allow it to boil and be absorbed by the meat. The crust, at the bottom of the pan, should begin to deglaze and infuse with the goulash. Repeat this step until all the wine is used and the mixture resembles a deep red rich colour. Sprinkle in the flour and begin to stir. The juices will thicken and once again it will start to brown at the bottom. You don't want the flour to be too lumpy, so reduce the dish by adding 250 mm of vegetable stock. Mix together until the flour is completely incorporated and the mixture has just one consistency. Pour in the remaining vegetable stock, beef stock and the chopped potatoes. And finally, we're gonna stir in the sriracha, cumin, bay leaves and thyme to pack this dish full of flavour. Okay, now we're going to bring the soup to the boil and then let it simmer for an hour and a half, two hours over medium to low heat. Okay, two hours are up, we can now remove the bay leaves Add a little lemon zest, season with salt and pepper, and you're ready to serve. Wow, look at this, it's amazing. It's just how I remember it. And the smell, oh, it's delicious. All right, let's dive in. Mmm, mamma mia, 
Mamma mia. Thank you, Hungary. Thank you, Austria, Germany, Eastern Europe, everyone. This is beautiful. It's just that homey taste to it. The first thing you get, you taste the, the tenderness of the meat and then the potatoes are just melting in your mouth. Let's try the broth. Wow, it's so comforting. It's just, uh, it's just that homey winter feeling you get. It's just so beautiful. The broth is rich in flavor. You can taste the, the sweetness of the tomato and um, Mm. There's a hint of lemon zest as well. And then you get the cumin in there, the paprika, the black pepper. What a cozy bowl of goodness. Full of comfort on a cozy winter night. If you want to replicate this dish, check out the recipe in the description down below. As you can see, I'm so passionate about food. I love to learn and I love to eat. So if you enjoy my videos and want to see more recipes, subscribe to the channel so that we can enjoy food together. I will see you on the next video and ciao for now.